Nothing like the old days. Is it true you had a real doctor? Not quite. When my time drew nigh, I sent Jebediah to fetch the doctor, but he got stuck in that blizzard for three days. So I just laid on the floor of our log cabin and pushed for 42 hours, fainting many times before young Edward arrived. Oh, I cut the umbilical cord with a scythe, and besides a raging infection that will likely kill me, all is well. Oh. oh. Say, I hear your delivery was pretty spiffy, Barb. Sure was. I delivered in a hospital. Nice going. Thank goodness we're through giving birth at home. Holy mackerel, you don't say. Donald even participated. Donald, your husband? That's right. He came to the hospital and waited in the smoking lounge while Dr. Evans strapped me down and gave me the gas. Then six hours later, I woke up, and four days later, I got to hold tiny Linda for the first time. Isn't that the cat's meow? I'll say. How was your birth, girl? Amazing. We did it at home. Oh, cool. Hospitals are so nasty. Right? My doula, midwife, husband, and I created a five-page birth plan. No drugs. Water birth. We had the Hamilton soundtrack on the playlist. And then last second, we decided to stream it on Facebook Live. <laughs> Duh, of course. I watched the whole thing with my coworkers. Oh, me too. My favorite part was when you rushed to the hospital for the emergency C-section. Right? <laughs> Hashtag YOLO. <laughs> you can do it at M29. Just one more push. Uh, uh. Oh. 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 Ugh. Could you change the eye color to violet? Oh yeah, totally. So much better. Uh, you guys, giving birth virtually is the best. Can you believe women ever did this for real? How primitive. You guys want some virtual placenta? It's bacon flavored. Mm, mm, yeah. yeah. Mm. Anthony, can you say the break womb? 